In this video I'm going to show you an easy trick for adding variety to your sound effects through pitch randomization. So here's our bass platformer jumping without any pitch randomization. So as you can see, playing the same sound over and over again can get tiring. So here's with pitch randomization. So it's slightly different. Um, basically before each sound gets played, the pitch gets randomized through a random value. So I'm going to show you how to create this. We're going to be creating a new scene and we're going to be extending the base audio stream player that plays audio. So we'll close this out, create a new scene, and start with our base audio stream player. I'm going to give this a name, randomized audio, save it, and pass it the WAV file for jumping. So the ba base idea for the randomized pitch is basically modifying this pitch scale variable over here. So it's, it defaults to 1, but if we give it a value like 0.8, you can see that that changes the, the sound's pitch. So we're just going to be creating our own randomized audio class, where every time play is called, we're going to be creating a random value for this pitch scale. So we'll give it a script. As you can hear, see, it inherits from audio stream player. And we'll start by overriding the base audio's um, play function. So in order to do that, we have to use the same function signature right here. Um, and you can see this, find this in the documentation. So this right here is the overriding of the base play function for the audio stream player. And now we're going to add some logic on top of that. So pitch scale is the variable we want to randomize. So we'll do pitch scale equals random range um, and we want to do a value that's below 1 and above 1. And you can mess around with it a little bit yourself, and it's obviously going to be different from sound effect to sound effect, but something like this, and we'll randomize the seed before we call it. And just for testing purposes, I will just look for um, pressing Enter and then calling Play so we can run the scene and see what this sounds like right now. So we're getting some randomization. However, one problem that might occur is we might get the same close value um, over and over again. So if we get 1.1 and 0 0.8, that's great. But if we get 1.1 and 1.1, and maybe even 1.1 again, then the player is going to get tired of hearing that same pitch over and over again. So to address that, we can store the last pitch in a variable and check if the last pitch is close to the pitch that it's trying to play. And if it is, then we'll re-roll and try to get a pitch that's further away um, beyond some kind of threshold. So to do that, we'll, we'll create a loop that's going to stay in while the absolute value of the pitch scale that it's trying to use um, subtracted from the last pitch, so this is always going to be a positive small value within the range that we're going with, while it's less than some threshold value. So let's say it's less than 0.1. So if we roll 0.8 and 0.85 and the last pitch yeah, was 0.8 or 0.9, it's going to enter this while loop because um, that's within this threshold that we're setting. And then we'll just re-roll for a new pitch and then we'll store that last pitch. So let's play this scene and see what that sounds like. So as you can hear, there's some more randomization there. And you can take this much further, um, but this is just enough for, for now. And um, I'll get rid of that and come into this test scene so you can see our new randomized audio stream player in action. So here is no pitch randomization. And now we have our randomized pitch. Of course, you can still get tired of hearing this randomized pitch, but it's it's definitely an improvement. And um, it's, it's also a 
cheap way to get more more bang for your buck from just one single sound effect. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.